What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from The Quartering, and uh, Google's latest update, which they announced yesterday, effectively uh, will destroy mainstream media's web traffic and will also strongly negatively affect any and all independent media. And uh, I suspect we're going to see this uh, it, you know, down the line for YouTubers, as Google is essentially using AI now to replace user-generated content, and uh, it, it doesn't look good. Um, you know, web traffic, as Google maintains roughly a 90% search engine supremacy, a search engine uh, monopoly, just trying to get your information not curated directly by Google now when you use a search engine will be nearly impossible. Uh, this is very, very concerning stuff as obviously an independent creator um, because, you know, yeah, I know that most of my viewers are, are smart, good smelling individuals who are, you know, know directly how to kind of navigate the web, but it's going to be harder than ever now to reach normies who are just trying to Google search something and not get fed literal big tech nonsense. Uh, I think this topic went largely um, ignored yesterday, and it's very, very concerning for me. Uh, I do want to let you know, uh, by the way, coffeebrandcoffee.com, my, co my coffee company, where we roast our own stuff, ultra small batch, roasted fresh to order. We have a massive sale going on on the website right now. Any order over $50 is going to get a free item, and there's like seven or eight items you can choose from. Our Roaster's Choice program, which is like seriously the best ultra small batch curated monthly coffee program is 50% off your first month. So now's a great time to try that. And we have a massive selection of our natural unflavored and flavor blends available as well as our premium snacks up to 62% off. Coffeebrandcoffee.com. Please consider supporting the channel by also checking out some ultra premium product. I guarantee you'll love it. If you don't, I'll give you your money back. This isn't some drop ship garbage. We curate every little thing um, the entire way for, for our product because I want this to last long. Now it's going to be div more difficult to find. Google upgrades search engine, quote unquote, with AI overviews, risks revenue drain from media companies. No, no, it doesn't risk it. It 110% takes it. Google on Tuesday unveiled a major overhaul to its flagship search engine that uses AI-generated summaries to displace the links to news stories, a move that threatens to deprive traditional media companies of much-needed ad revenue. It's, it's not just the ad revenue, for example. It's the eyeballs, right? It's the traffic that is, there, that is going to be funneled off now that will be will never leave the Google homepage. Essentially, their idea is to never let you leave the Google homepage unless you pay to do it. What that means is, you know, through a paid search link. This is going to destroy discoverability. This is going to be exactly what comes to you for YouTube. Uh, it's going to destroy YouTubers' careers, uh, YouTubers' ability to reach new people. There used to be a new uh, a period of time where you would search for something, right? YouTube videos used to show up in search. Those days are going to be gone. Now, you, you know, YouTube's just going to keep you on the page and they're going to show ads on that page and they're never going to send any traffic anywhere else. Uh, this is in particularly, this will be particularly devastating for new tech, uh, for, you know, discoverability. You know, we already know how, for example, uh, Google treats links to new tech. Um, but now that you won't even get, be able to sneak, slither your way through, it's just going to generate AI overviews of everything. So you never have to click to leave the page. This is going to completely destroy uh, mainstream media's web traffic. It's going to uh, completely destroy independent media's uh, web traffic. And it's going to put all available traffic through big tech's lens, right? Meaning everything that you see is going to be curated by Google. Now, I don't have, I happen to think that's not a good thing. And I happen to think that you probably agree with that. The new feature dubbed, quote, AI overviews will debut in the US this week and provide answers to queries like how to fix my toilet. Gee, something that you mean 
something that was, you know, very common, like in YouTube searches, things of that nature. And what's the best way to clean leather boots? Pushing down the set of links to, uh, it will now push down the set of links related to search. This release at its annual IO conference will surely rankle news outlets and other publishers who have seen their traffic and ad revenue crater at the expense of Google's dominance of the internet. By making the move, they're flipping a switch to replace the open web with their own content to increase their profits, which still today are almost entirely driven by advertising. Jason Kint, a prominent Google critic and CEO of Digital Content Next, told The Post. Well, yeah. I mean, now what's what's sad about this? I mean, it's not sad, but like the truth about this is that only now will we will we see these news outlets that have been suckling at the Google teat for years. Only now will we see them criticize it. That's the truth. Only now will they finally criticize it because we've seen YouTube, for example, push what they call authoritative sources, right? CNN pushing what they call authoritative sources, right? What did that mean? CNN and Fox News and MSNBC, which were far from authoritative as any one of you would agree, okay? The Mountain View, California-based tech giant maintains a 90% market share in search. It's alleged monopoly led to a landmark lawsuit by the federal government against the company. Doesn't matter. Like now more than ever, Google needs to be broken apart. And I say that as somebody whose entire career right now still relies on uh, YouTube. I still want people to go follow me on the Mean Green Machine. You know, the site that you can't even mention on this website. I can't link to it. Like I literally can't link to my channel there. Um, but I want you to go follow it and I'll show you on the screen. It's very easy. You can just go to the quartering.com and it redirects there. Very easy. You should have an account here and you should be following creators because this is absolute nonsense. Industry exper experts have speculated that AI overuse could disrupt the advertising market, leading to a potential annual loss for publishers of more than $2 billion. By the way, I I've talked about this before. Uh, on, uh, for Just for ad revenue, right, on YouTube, year over year, I'm down 50% with similar views. In fact, some months more views. I'll, I'll remind people that you can check out my Locals account, <laughs> which I can't link either, but if you just go to thequartering.locals.com, you can support it. Um, Ross Hudgens, CEO of Search Engine Optimization for Siege Media, told the Washington Post this week that some publishers will lose 20% or more of their traffic due to Google's changes. Some people are just going to get bludgeoned, Hudgens said. The Post reached out to Google for comment, a company maintaining a blog post that links presented with, quote, AI overview, overviews will get more clicks than if a page had actually appeared as traditional web listing for that query. Well, then what's everyone going to have to do? Everyone's going to have to, like, block Google from scraping their websites, right? Think about this. Google will steal your information from your website, use AI to iterate some fair use version of it, and then rob you of your revenue which is half of what it was last year. Have I mentioned the quartering.locals.com, $5 a month? I hope that you'll at least follow me there. As we expand the experience, we'll continue to focus, or buy some coffee. Coffee's better, actually, because you get something you know tangible for your money. As we expand this experience, we'll continue to focus on sending valuable traffic to publishers and creators, Liz Reed said, head search of Google. More than a billion users will have access to AI overview in their search results by the end of the year. Last fall, a study published by Columbia, ooh, well, it must be real. We saw how smart those students were, found that Google should pay, found out that Google should pay news outlets between $10 billion and $12 billion to account for the ad revenue generated in their search traffic. Google had already faced intense criticism for displaying AI-generated ripoffs prominently in search results, in some cases ahead of whole human-produced content they copied. Elsewhere, of course, that's, that's what they're going to do. They're going to replace. Have you seen all this weird, cringe AI uh, YouTube content? You don't think that in this time next year, 
people like myself will be struggling to keep people's attentions because hot anime waifus will be able to do what I do faster and quicker and pump out videos every minute covering every possible topic that could ever break. This is, I mean, when I'm talking about like, ha ha ha, this is the end for, um, you know, uh, mainstream media. And it very well may be. It's certainly the begin. It's already a continuation of the end. This is going to come for video content creators, like unequivocally, without a doubt. This will AI content will change everything for content creators. And now, Google, what you know these these idiot news people, the people that were supposedly supposed to be, you know, looking out for us and and criticizing them, they've they've stayed. Uh, quiet because Google has funneled a bunch of traffic their way over the past 10 years. Now they're taking it away and it's too late because the average user will never notice the difference. I mean, some people may over time, like you or I, we can generally tell when something's like, um, you know, when something's AI generated, but will we be able to tell in a year? The tech giant could also face scrutiny over the quality of the answers of the after the disastrous rollout of its Gemini chatbots AI image generation tool, with, which included black Vikings and female popes. Well, what do you mean? I just saw today there were black samurais, according to Ubisoft. So what difference does it make? One alarming study conducted that research from Gartner predicted that the overall traffic to the web from search engines will plunge by 25% in 2026 due to the rise of AI chatbots. And that number is probably, uh, probably low. Google is leaning further into the AI race, even as it faces unprecedented scrutiny from antitrust watchdogs over alleged anti-competitive behavior. Well, any legislation that could slow this down is 10 years, 20 years away. The, the entire open web will be destroyed by AI by, by the time any one of those blue hairs in Congress or the Senate do a damn thing. Can't bother to be interrupted sending all of our tax dollars to UK and Israel. Uh, meanwhile, basically... Uh, mainstream media is getting destroyed hot finally, but along with it is independent media too. This is a very, very scary precedent that not enough people are going to be talking about. I hope that you'll share it. I hope that you'll check out coffeebrandcoffee.com, check out my Roaster's Choice program, or just give our coffee a try, get a free gift, and I'll purchase over $50 or pick up some of our premium snacks and candy, which are up to 62% off while I still have you around. I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll talk to you again real soon.